the majority of his life um, in civil service of other people and I think as a family uh, we felt that both directly and directly uh, a lot of you know uh, people in our family didn't really have a chance to build a relationship with him as grandkids we we kind of did because when he was released from prison we got to spend a bunch of time but our parents didn't um, and it puts into perspective that kind of uh, personal sacrifice that someone takes on um, in order to help you know, not only free his people, but bring equality to a country that was brutally oppressive. Mandela Day is not seen as a public holiday in South Africa, uh, but rather a day of action. And so people from all walks of life go and participate in some form uh, of public service. That can be uh, delivering food to old age homes, that can be painting schools, um, that can be doing uh, park or beach cleanups. Um, you know, you really get to decide, um, but what's beautiful about it is people come together on the 18th of July uh, as friends, family, work colleagues, and they basically give 67 minutes of their time uh, towards contributing toward their community. Uh, the 67 minutes represents or symbolizes the 67 years uh, that my grandfather spent uh, in his life giving back to his community. The six pillars um, encompass different virtues from my grandfather's life um, of things that he worked on, um, stemming from racial equality to voting rights to education to food security, gender equality, and of course climate change. And then, you know, with my family, we've been very active in working on food security, um, particularly in South Africa. I think that's a critical issue, um, you know, that will have an indelible impact on the world in the coming years. I would say that we've come a long way and made great strides uh, as humanity. Uh, we've been able to, you know, half uh, extreme poverty, for instance. Uh, we've seen gender equality grow. Um, you know, the rights for communities around the world um, be enshrined, um, but we still have a long way to go. Last year, in February 2020, it was the uh, 30th anniversary of my grandfather's release from prison and the family launched an initiative called the Freedom Project, which was us trying to look at what modern day freedom means to people. Um, at the same time, we wanted to find partners who could help us not only amplify that, but also amplify my grandfather's legacy as a whole to a new generation. And we knew that Kith was a brand that not only was intrinsically and uh, authentically followed by young audiences around the world. We also knew they had an ethos of, of trying to give back to their community. Uh, and so they felt like a really suitable partner for us to link up with. Last summer, Kith, you know, made a major statement by uh, wrapping its uh, flagship store um, with a quote from my grandfather that I think resonated with a lot of people. I remember friends um, from all over the world um, sending me images of it, uh, people calling me saying they'd seen it um, for the first time for a lot of them. It was vitally important to not only be involved in the design process, but for us to share um, you know, images, share different stories and histor historical notes uh, so that people could really get a sense and flavor of who not only my grandfather was, but we are um, as a family and as a people. This is part of us telling our story as Mandela's. Um, but it's also part of, I think, a longer uh, partnership that we're looking for and growing with Kith.